building an aesthetic physique can be quite challenging uh, and this challenge can be added to uh, if you don't have access to all the proper equipment which might facilitate this this goal. However, with the right exercises and the right amount of dedication you will be able to build a, a strong, lean and uh, aesthetic physique. So the first thing we should cover is body weight exercises can be just as effective as um, weighted exercises if we do choose to implement the correct uh, strategies to make these exercises uh, of uh, sufficient intensity to be a great enough training stimulus to stimulate hypertrophy. Ideally you'd be doing compound movements and uh, not targeting specific muscles uh, because most body weight movements tend to recruit uh, muscle groups in opposed to specific muscles. So let's start with push-ups. Uh, push-ups provide you with all the uh, pushing stimulus you could really want for your chest, shoulders and triceps. Variations where these are more difficult, uh, obviously if you raise your feet, uh, these can become uh, much uh, more difficult. Uh, if you have the skills for it, then uh, you could obviously try a handstand push-up. Uh, that, however, isn't something I'm <laughs> at the level to do quite yet. And uh, a variation I particularly like is a diamond push-up, uh, which focuses on, on your triceps more. It's important to progressively implement these variations to ensure a sufficient stimulus is applied uh, to stimulate hypertrophy. If you're working in rep ranges around 30 with 5 or more sets, then you may be limiting the amount of hypertrophy you can get uh, compared to what would be optimal. Optimally, for all these exercises, we'd be working in probably a 5 to, uh, I'd say, 15 to 20 rep range at the highest. Uh, in sets of three to five to ensure hypertrophy is maximized. Obviously without weight this isn't always possible because um, with time body weight exercises can become quite easy so that's where these uh, these variations become useful. The next exercise that is great for hypertrophy without weights is pull-ups. Uh, pull-ups is something I think everyone should implement if they can uh, because it's just such a good exercise in recruiting your biceps and your uh, and your back muscles. So some people may even be struggling to do one pull-up. Uh, for, for those people, I'd suggest you do negative pull-ups where you start at the top and slowly lower yourself down, or you try and use resistance bands if you do have them and do uh, those assisted until you're able to do one full pull-up. Uh, following that, you can continue to progress by doing uh, normal pull-ups. And if these pull-ups become too easy, then you may choose to implement a different variation, uh, like an L-sit pull-up or a one-arm pull-up. Uh, overall pull-ups are a great exercise uh, to do, even when I have access to weights I still choose to try and do pull-ups uh, because I find they're just really helpful in stimulating that bicep and back growth. Lastly, for your legs, uh, your best option is bodyweight squats, um, split squats and lunges, all those sort of uh, leg movements. Uh, I think with most people they tend to find these bodyweight squats quite easy, uh, so this is one place where I'd recommend when you can try using weights, but obviously if you don't have access to weights, there are some variations you could implement to make these more difficult. The first variation is uh, pistol squats. This is where you squat on one leg in opposed to two. Uh, obviously moving all that weight onto one leg does make the exercise a lot more difficult. However, I found challenges with this um, in my limited ankle mobility. You may also want to implement more explosive work uh, to, to give your training more of a functional element. Um, for example, you may choose to add jumps at the end of your squats. With leg movements, uh, stimulating hypertrophy with just your body weight alone it is very difficult. So this is a situation where I'd recommend you work in uh, the higher rep ranges. Uh, we're talking 50, 100 reps just to um, try and give your muscles a sufficient stimulus to uh, stimulate hypertrophy. Overall, given you are consistent with these exercises and you implement the uh, progressive overload strategies I've suggested, I have no doubt you'll, uh, you should see some results in your physique and your overall strength. It's quite amazing how fast the body will adapt, uh, so you may, might find yourself outgrowing these exercises quickly, uh, so obviously feel free to look into more uh, variations if you find you're stro too strong for all of these, uh, and uh, constantly be challenging yourself to uh, stimulate yourself more. Uh, that's all I have for today's video, so hopefully this is helpful, and thank you for watching.